Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of relating fractions and decimals. This is standard 4.2G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, you might be wondering, where's the rest of the problem? Well, apparently this is all that we have. The actual problem is simply this question. What decimal number is equivalent to 18 tenths? And then they give us some instructions for filling in the bubbles on our answer document. But that's it. All we need to do is relate that fraction to a decimal number. So, I would uh, probably say one of the best ways for us to do that is let's draw a picture here. And so, all right, so I'm going to draw tenths. I'm not going to really close this because I don't know how long it's going to take me or how far it's going to take me. So I don't want to draw a square and then just run out of space. So I always like to leave that back opening open. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there we go. All right, so we've got our... 10 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shade them in so I've got one tenth two tenths three tenths four tenths five tenths six tenths seven tenths eight tenths nine tenths as you can see I didn't make it go far enough so let's add that last 10 tenths that's that's better all right so we've got 10 tenths so if I wanted to relate this to a fraction it's pretty easy right I've got 10 pieces out of 10 total pieces so that's 10 tenths now how do I make that as part of a decimal number well think of this as one whole. Now, obviously, I've broken it up into 10 pieces, but basically, I've shaded in the whole thing, right? So if I've got 10 tenths, that's going to equal one whole. I've shaded in the entire thing. Any fraction that has the same numerator and denominator is equal to one. Two halves, three thirds, four fourths, five fifths, six sixths, all equal to one because you shade in the whole thing. One hundred one hundredths thousand one thousandths all equal to one but that's only ten tenths I need eighteen tenths okay so let's try this again two three four five six seven eight nine all right so that should be if I did it right let's shade in shade in eight right because I've already gotten ten tenths so I need eight tenths. One tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four tenth, five tenth, six tenth, seven tenths, eight tenths. Okay. So this is eight tenths. Now, if I add these two together, right, I'm going to have ten tenths plus 8 tenths. Remember when we add fractions, the numerators uh, get added. The denominators have to be the same, but then they don't get added. So there we go. So I've got my 18 tenths. Now what is this equal to as a decimal? Well, 8 tenths, I need to be thinking of my place value, right? There's the ones place. I don't have the whole, any whole. But here, this first place value is this tenths. So this is the big learning in fourth grade, right? is that we've got 8 over 10 equals 0 0.8. So if I put those together, I'm gonna, it's going to be 1 and 8 tenths. So that's what we bubble in. So if we go to our bubble sheet right here, we're going to have our decimal. We have two digits to the right, three digits to the left, right? And we're just going to bubble in 1.8 or 1 and 8 tenths and bubble in the numbers underneath. 